Hey friends, Hattie here with Honeybee Stampers. I am going live for our happy hour. Unfortunately, I'm not able to go live in the landscape mode so that you can see more of my table. For some reason, Facebook is only allowing me to go live portrait. So I'm gonna try to pay attention to where I'm placing things on so that they fit in the screen. So hopefully you guys can come back and join me. Let me check my um, Facebook to make sure that I'm in the right place. It is just unbelievable how much things change from day to day, week to week, when it comes to technology, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Zoom, whatever it is, there seems to always be some kind of change that happens. So I'm just gonna have to roll with it today and go live um, in this format. This isn't ideal, but I'm gonna go live this way and try to keep everything so that you guys can see it. So let me make sure here, if you happen to catch my live stream right now, just kind of hop on and say hello. And if you guys ever see that I'm going out of the screen, let me know that too. Okay. Um, alrighty, we'll get started. I have a, a really adorable project to share with you guys today. It is actually a fun fold that you can use over and over again. Um, I'm looking at my screen and I'm seeing that I've got a little bit of the, this. Let me see if I slide it up a little bit, if that's going to make a difference. Okay. Try to get some of that equipment out of the, because the view is, the field of view is not great as it is, so I don't want any more distractions there. Okay, well, hi, Sharon. Hello from Wisconsin. Okay, let's get started. Um, our host code for this, well, this month is almost over, but it is, uh, you can still use it. It's E-U-Z-6-T-W-N-4. And after you see this project today, I think you're gonna want to place an order for this gorgeous paper. So I'm gonna be featuring some paper um, called A Walk in the Forest, I believe. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yes, it's called A Walk in the Forest. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. Hi, Franny. So like I was just mentioning earlier when I tuned in, um, and thank you to everybody that's watching the replay as well when this goes up on YouTube, um, Facebook wouldn't let me go live in, in landscape mode, so I have to do this little narrow video. So hang in there with me. I'll try to keep everything in the screen. Okay, so this is a brand new product that's in the Holiday Mini Catalog. It's called A Walk in the in the Forest. It's 12 by 12 designer series paper. And so I'm just gonna kind of flip through these here so you can see them. And they're really beautiful. And the special thing about this designer series paper is that it is the product give back that Stampin' Up! has come up with. So each holiday catalog, they design some product that they will sell and then proceeds from each sale goes to a special cause that they choose. So the cause for this year is going to be, um, in the United States, they are going to be giving back to Toys for Tots, the Marine Toys for Tots. And if you're in Canada and you purchase any of this product, it's gonna be going back to um, Salvation Army in Canada. So I'll show you where you can find it in the catalog here. So if you're flipping through the catalog, hi, Do hi Dottie, hi Terry, good to see you guys. Thanks for joining. Um, in this mini catalog here, you will find this on page four and on page five of this catalog. You'll see all the paper arranged over here. It's the Making a Difference product give back. And so it will donate $3 to every purchase. And this purchase is only $12.50. And the, the product is beautiful. The paper is just gorgeous. I love it. Um, and so these are really cute cards right here. I'm actually seeing that they heat embossed on this designer series paper. That's very clever. I hadn't thought of doing that. I'm going to have to do that. Um, there is some product in here that this coordinates with. I'll show you really quick and then I'm going to show you our project. You guys are going to love these cards. It's a fun fold that makes really easy gift giving and I'll explain why in a minute. But on page 12, you're going to find the Marius Trees 
photopolymer stamp set and the dies that coordinate. I'm pointing this out to you because this actually coordinates with the paper as well. So you can take that die and cut out these trees here. You can cut out that tree and that tree and that tree. So it's really cool that this coordinates so well together. So there's that. And then on page 22, I'm sure most of you have been tracking this very uh, Christmas, the sweet of Christmas product, and it's so cute. It's on page 22 and 23, and it's got all of this great stuff. But the punch, you can actually punch some of the bears out of this paper, out of this designer series paper with that punch. And a lot of other things coordinate. And I'll actually be using this stamp set uh, today, this stamp set right here, on our projects. So there we go. All right, let's move this out of the way and we'll get started. I'll show you our project for today. Well, I'll show you actually, well, I'm not gonna be able to show you because I'm making this project. Um, I have some other samples that I can show you in just a minute, um, but let's go ahead and get started with this. I know you guys like to see the cards beforehand. Well, let me just show you, okay. So this is essentially the card that we're making today. Isn't he so cute? And it opens up like this, and we've got a little pocket right here that you can slide some money into, or you can put a gift card in there, or a gift certificate, something along those lines. So that's what we're making today. And I'll set this here, because I know you guys like to see it ahead of time and have a good point of reference. But the card that we're gonna be making today uses different paper. So I did create several of these cards featuring this paper that I just showed you. Okay, now we're gonna start with a eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And like I said, I'm limited. Hi, Rhonda. I'm limited in my space here with the camera because for some reason, Facebook is being a stinker. Um, but we're gonna cut this down to four and a fourth here. Just like that, to five and a half. And if you are on my email, if you're an email subscriber of mine, you will get these measurements, so don't fret. You can just sit back and enjoy. Thank you, Franny. And then you're gonna take this piece, the leftover piece here, we're gonna cut it down to three and a fourth. And then we're going to score it. And this particular fun fold is one that you can make over and over again using so many different designer series papers and um, different styles and you can jazz it up or you can make it sweet and simple like I've done today. And then we're gonna score it again at eight and a half. Our paper trimmer. Okay, so here's the scoring part. And I, I mean, that's where I'm lining it up at eight and a half and then I'm scoring right here. So frustrating that I can't show you guys the whole screen. And then we're gonna slide it down to nine and three fourths and then we're gonna trim it off. There we go. So these are essentially our leftover pieces that you can use for other things if you'd like. Okay, so there's that. Now we gotta cut down some designer series paper. Let's grab, I decided, this is why I couldn't show you because I decided to do this designer series paper. And let me even see if I have the right measurement here. Um, so this is gonna be about four inches and then we'll cut it off at three inches. We need that piece. And then we're gonna need some of this pretty paper here. We'll cut it down to four inches. And then we're gonna cut an inch and a half off. And we're gonna slide it down and cut half an inch. That's, I think that'll work. Okay, so these are the pieces that we need so far. And I did die cut a couple extra pieces um, using one of my favorite dies. You gotta have this die, you guys. So if you don't have this die, you, you need to get it. It's called Stylish Shapes. I use it a lot and it makes for crafting um, very easy. It makes it very, really easy to craft. Okay, so now we're going to take this piece and we've got those score lines already done for us. I'm going to flip this over because I want my markings to be on the back. Because if I push really hard, it'll kind of leave a little shiny 
residue type thing there and I don't want that on the front of my card. And then we'll fold this over and I'll do the same thing because I'm gonna glue on the back side there. Okay, so now you've essentially created kind of like a matchbook right there. And then we'll take this piece and I'm gonna use this as the layer on the front. I have a couple more samples of this card to share with you guys as well. So there's that. Okay, let me open it up. We are gonna need some basic white, and I think I had, hmm, I thought I had cut a piece already. Oh, I did. Okay, I just cut a piece down to three by four as well. And remember, like I said, I will get you guys the measurements and everything that I use to create this project in my email. So let's open up our pretty peacock, such a pretty color. And like I mentioned earlier, I decided to use the Very Cute stamp set as the stamp set that we're using to kind of um, decorate this card. So we're gonna take the Merry Christmas from that, scent, that stamp set and ink it up. Okay, and stamp right about there. There, oops, I got a little, little ink on it. We'll flip it over. That's the great thing about our paper. We've got two sides always that you can use. Let me wipe that off. I got a little heavy handed there. And let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to actually stamp something else. I'm going to stamp the tree. So there is this nice little two-step stamping tree here that I'm going to use. And we'll do the outline in our pretty peacock. Like that. And then we'll do the inside portion, also in pretty, pe pretty peacock, but I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it to be so dark. So let me grab some scrap paper that I have. There we go. It's looking good. I'm gonna need to fussy cut that out. We're gonna take this piece that I stamped earlier and go ahead and layer that inside the card here. This will be a great spot for you to write your little message. We'll use some tear and tape because this is like the perfect size. Or you can put a nice thin line of glue on this end here. Now this is tear and tape where you can just like tear it off with your fingers, but I like to sometimes clip, use my scissors so that it's like a perfect edge like that. And then we'll do the same on this side as well. I'm telling you, when you guys do this card, you are going to want to make like a hundred of them. <laughs> They're so fun and easy. Take that off. I'm not sure what was going on with Facebook earlier. Hopefully they'll get that straightened out and I won't have to do portrait mode again because it's really frustrating. Get a little bit of excess glue there. Let's cut that off there. Okay, there. Now we've got our little pocket here. So this would be perfect. You can slide a little bit of money in there. You can even slide a gift card in there, whatever you'd like to do. And then we'll take this, this is our base. I'm gonna grab these pieces here and add them to the sides. There's that one. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of some of the cards that I created. 
So for bingo class this Saturday, I um, everybody's gonna be getting a tags kit that has like 15 beautiful gift tags that they can use. You can turn them into cards if you wanted to, or you could just use them up as gift tags. And then I designed two additional cards. Let's put some adhesive on the back of this one. And you're just gonna place that between those two DSPs and make sure that it lines up with your card. Um, so I designed two bonus cards featuring the same DSP. So I think that um, th this paper is so pretty. They're very simple cards that they could make. I just, even though they get a full kit um, at Bingo, I just still like to design a little something for people to make um, because the kits are great. They come all inclusive and everything like that, but there's just a different feel to doing a kit versus like something that I've designed for you. So that's why I decided to make those and I hope you guys like them, but I'll show those cards to you today because they feature this paper. So we're gonna cut this little tree out. I do enjoy fussy cutting. I probably just don't love doing it while I'm on, on video. <laughs> not as fast as I wanna be. So unfortunately, this one does not have a punch. This comes with that stamp set that has the little bear punch, a little polar bear punch. off okay there we go so I wanted to add this right inside here so I'm just gonna add a little adhesive there if you wanted to you could um, put a, little, a more DSP in here maybe the DSP that coordinates out here if you wanted to bring that in I just kind of stuck this on there and then this would be cute if I put a little gem on there right now I went ahead and I die cut this out of those stylish shapes, which I love. Oh good, Nan, I'm glad I'm not alone when it comes to fussy cutting, I absolutely love it. I'm glad you made it live too, yay. Okay, so I am going to stamp this in the Pretty Peacock too, but I'm gonna get your guys' opinion on which you like better. So I'm gonna ink this one up now this is a little bit, this sentiment is a little bit bigger than my die cut, which I don't normally do that, but um, I feel like it works. Like it, you kind of get it, you can see what that means, right? And then I cut this piece. This little piece also comes from that stylus shapes and I'm gonna use this, just cut it in half. And I'm gonna put one on either end here to just add another fun little element. I like to do that often, but I also stamp this here and I kind of no never mind <laughs> I don't love it after all um, so I don't know I'm gonna go with the white so Terry you said would the other Christmas tree dye work with this okay now I have to think of which with which tree dye is that one um, do you mean the dyes that come with Marius trees would it die cut out this little tree that I just made. Is that what you mean? I wonder. I'm gonna have to look. Okay, so we just add a little adhesive on either one, either side there, and then we're going to, and if you wanted to be really technical, you could line this up and line these up. I don't, I just kinda eyeball it. So I'm just gonna put it right there, and then I'm gonna do the same on this side. Okay, there we go. Now let's put some dimensionals on here. And then one here. Okay. Now we're just going to place this so that it hangs off a little bit, but not too far off that the sticky attaches there. Okay, that, that card is done. And you can see where you can slip a little gift in there. You can write a little note, um, a gift certificate, a gift card, whatever you'd like. So that's a really fun, easy fun fold. 
Okay, so Terry, let's figure that out. Um, actually, I have those guys. I think I actually set them over there. So let me get the book out and see. We can eyeball it and kind of see. Towards the back of the catalog, if you hadn't noticed it before, it really showcases the dies. So like in the catalog, you'll see, for instance, this one, um, it has the dies down here, but they're very tiny. If you flip to the back of the catalog, it'll show you all of the dies a lot larger um, so that you can kind of take a look at it. So let's find the tree die. Okay, so it's this one. Hmm, I don't think that that would cut it out. The reason I don't think that is because it's got one, two, three, and it's got some different detail on the bottom. I don't think that that would cut that out, but that was a good idea. Um, and I'll be using this as part of my gift. I give everybody a little gift at Bingo, and um, that bit, the gift I'm giving this Saturday actually doubles as um, a little storage box, and I'll have to explain it to them when they come. So let me show you guys some more of these cards here. So here's the one that we created today. Hi, Betty, good to see you. And super simple. Here's the one I showed you initially. Again, both of these papers, all of this paper is part of that paper pack that I showed you earlier in the beginning of the video. If you missed it, you can go back and watch it. Here is another of the paper combination. I just took all the paper and I kind of figured out, I'm like, oh, okay, this goes with that and this goes with this and I really like these two together. So that's what I did. And I just kept it really simple by using the same stamp on the inside and the same stamp on the outside. And then here's this one. And I put the little tree in there as well. Thank you, Gwen. Thank you, Nan. I really like this layout for this particular paper specifically because it's got such large images that you want to be able to really showcase it. Because I know if I try to cut this up and make it smaller, the bear would be cut off and it'd look odd. So I made sure to cut it so that the bear was one of the focal pieces of that DSP. And then here's another set. And I really like the way that one turned out as well. So let me see which paper didn't I use. So I used this side, I used that side, I used this side, I did not use this side, did not use that. I did not use this side, I did use that. We used this side and this side. We used this one and that one. We used this one and this one. So these, all of these pieces were used on the projects today. And then these two were not, these two were also used. So I'm gonna to have to come up with something. I, I did use this for our bingo card. So let me share with you guys a little bit about bingo so you can see those cards that I designed. So I guess this DSP is the lone man out. I'm gonna to have to find something to do with this paper. Maybe I'll make the bingo gift tags with that. Okay, so let me just show you some sneak peeks. So for bingo, thank you, Rhonda. Um, everybody will come and get one of these boxes uh, as part of their bingo registration. And inside, they're gonna get this kit, okay? So it's a non-stamping kit. So it's really super easy to put together. I'll show you what the projects look like. I'm sharing this with you guys because I do have a couple seats left, and this particular kit has sold out. So if you want this kit, you want it this weekend, um, it, they'll probably bring the kit back, I just don't know when. But if you want these cute, adorable tags, definitely come um, to South Carolina. Come on down, Rhonda, to South Carolina, all the way from Maryland, and see me at the studio. We're going to have Stampin' Bingo on Saturday. So here's another set. You'll make three each of five different tags. Isn't that so cute? And then there's another tag, and then there's the last one. So adorable, adorable tags, and then you'll get everything to make those. And then I designed two bonus cards. So these are our bonus cards that I designed for this Saturday that they'll get to put together uh, with some products. So this, because this was a non-stamping set, I didn't really have a stamp to use to design the cards with, so I decided to go with the paper. Um, and both of these stamps here are from the Berry Christmas stamp set that we use today. The other cool thing is you're gonna get the sticker sheet. Well, you're gonna get extra embellishments, so you can definitely take this and put this on top of those trees that we did earlier. Um, maybe I'll do that. And then you're gonna get all of these extra stickers. So if you know anybody who speaks French, Dutch, German, um, what am I missing here? French, Dutch, German, oh, 
that's it. And then we'll use the English ones. So if you know anybody, you can give them that sticker sheet and they can definitely create with those. So yes, one of these days, road trip, road trip for sure. Okay, so that's Stampin' Bingo. And like I said, they're also going to get a little gift for me that's going to double as a little storage box for their gift, those little gift cards, their gift tags that they made so that they can gift it if they wanted to. So there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed these cards and let me show you a couple more. Um, so this was one of the cards that we made at, um, at Stamp Camp and then also we did this at Sweet and Simple Card Class. So you'll see the tree again here and you'll see this designer series paper and even the little polar bear. So this paper is so cute. And then here is, um, so I guess I showed you this because this tree coordinates with this paper, but none of this stuff is from that paper. <laughs> from that paper. It's just a really fun fold um, Christmas tree card that we did in class. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And then I had a couple other things I wanted to tell you about. Oh, I did a little poll on Facebook to see of these four bundles, which one I should purchase for uh, bingo this Saturday and this one won out. So this one's mine. The one that's coming in the mail, it should be here by tomorrow, um, will be one of the prizes for bingo. And this is a super cute. I showed you guys some projects with this at our happy hour a couple happy hours ago. So make sure you go back and watch those. And then I also wanted to mention a couple more things, two more things. Home for the holidays, this paper pumpkin kit is going to be adorable. I can feel it. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but I can. I just know it's going to be adorable. So you're going to get eight card bases for each of two different designs. Um, and they're going to get coordinating envelopes. You're going to get a glitter glue, a real red ink spot. Who doesn't need more of those? And then you're going to get all these beautiful die cut pieces and a photopolymer stamp set. You guys, the paper pumpkins get so good, especially towards the end of the year. I love them. So um, super cute. There's that. Thank you so much, Terry. I'll be sharing the measurements for this card so you guys can recreate it over and over again. And then I wanted to mention to you guys one last thing. Um, starter kit. So there's a starter kit promotion happening starting October 3rd, and it goes through the whole month of October. Um, from the 3rd to the 31st, you're either going to get a 35% discount on the starter kit. So instead of paying $99, you're going to pay like 60 some dollars and you get to pick out $125 worth of product. There's no obligation to sell it to anybody else. You can just use it for your own personal discount or for all the other perks that come along with being a demo. And then there's also, um, the option for you to get 35% more in your starter kit. So you could do the $99 that you typically would do, and then you would just, um, add 35% more product. So I can't remember, I can't do math. I sent it out in my email this morning, um, but it tells you you'll get more than 125, you'll get 35% more of $125 in product and only for $99 free shipping. Um, and you will also get free registration to our online convention that happens in November. And if you are on my team, then we're actually going to plan an event here at the studio around that time as well. All right. So there's that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for bearing with me during these technical difficulties. Not sure why Facebook is not allowing me to go live. If anybody knows, definitely let me know so I can make sure next Wednesday I can go live with no issues. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys all again next week. Thanks, bye-bye.